Well, Andrew, Andrew and Belly have been in this league for a long time, and um, you know that. So they're uh, they've had plenty of success, and uh, we we needed their contributions big time tonight with all the guys out. Um, for JK, every experience is a positive one, uh, whether he plays well or not, just because he's learning so much. Uh, but I thought uh, it, JK was great. It was really uh, a good performance from him at both ends. Um, but uh, I thought Wiggs was really the key tonight. He was taking over at the right times, uh, had a really efficient game, took care of the ball, um, distributed, uh, played good defense. Uh, he was he was huge. And, and then Belly off the bench. The whole bench played great. Uh, but Belly was really key uh, with his playmaking, rebounding, uh, knocking down some threes. So really good team effort. What did you think of the sense of purpose just right off the top in the first quarter defensively kind of set and tone for the Yeah, it was great. You know, um we needed it. Obviously, um, you know, we're playing for, for seeding at this point after clinching last night. And um, you know, we we really wanna uh you know get as high as we can in the standings and, and uh so this became a really important game and missing some key guys as I mentioned. So uh it was awesome to have Draymond out there. Um, he said he felt good, so that was a, a really encouraging sign. Uh, he played really well in both both uh, games uh, the last two nights, and uh, obviously we we thrive on uh, his energy and defense. And um, so he was he was great tonight. How did that conversation go with Draymond? I mean, uh, we just uh, put our heads together with Rick and uh, last night, and um, you know Draymond. Um, the decision was we were going to see how he felt this morning after getting a night's sleep and uh, he uh, he was feeling really good this morning and um, so the decision was made and and uh, you know that's that's a great sign that you know coming off the injury I guess he's been back um, maybe two and a half weeks or so now for him to be able to play back to back and bring that kind of energy and look as good as he's looked uh, he's clearly turned the corner from a physical standpoint. You also think it's part of maybe his urgency also, not only feeling good this morning, but wanting to keep, you know, the ball rolling to, to get his conditioning even better. Uh, you can ask him that. I, I, I just think that um, he just wants to win. And, he you know, last night was a, a huge win for us, but he recognized the importance of this one. First thing he said in the locker room last night was, uh, you know, all you young guys, Tomorrow's a huge game, and we're going to need you. So, um, for him to be able to to play to help lead them, I thought was an important factor tonight. How important are those two early three pointers from Draymond, especially coming back from a back injury like that? Yeah, you know, over the years, uh, it'd be interesting. Maybe recording Draymond can in look progress. It up. When Draymond makes two threes, we almost always win. You know, he just. Um, uh, he, he not he softens up the defense a little bit. Uh, it gets him going. Um, his energy picks up, and and um, it's uh, it's a big factor if he can if he can make a couple and got us off to a really good start. With just how you guys have played over the last three games, do you feel like the guy is kind of getting? identity or getting into group you know without step the hope is obviously that he'll be here for the first round but you know does this give you confidence going forward? yeah for sure um you know last night didn't go well for 40 minutes and we we closed the game uh really strongly and that um that was a huge win but it um it was important for us to follow that up with a good solid performance uh to uh, to try to build build some momentum. So um, winning back-to-back -back games now after that, that losing streak, it's great. And we've got to uh, keep it going now with three more games. With all the ups and downs of the season, you know, what does it mean to hit that 50-win plateau? 50 wins is not easy in this league. And um, I told the guys that in the locker room afterwards, I don't care how we got here, we got here. And, um, you know, that if, if you can win 50, uh, you've had a hell of a year. And uh, so I'm really proud of them. Um, we've had uh, all kinds of adversity and injuries, absences. Um, our, our guys have stuck together and competed and, and here we are. Uh, so now the, you know, the, the key is can we keep it going and build some momentum going into the playoffs and that's that's the plan you guys are obviously grappling for different levels of seating but this weekend pretty much ensures you're, you're probably going to be three or four which gives you home court in the first round how big is that to, you know i guess stay on the, the home side of it right, right.
Yeah, the home court advantage is um, it's a big deal. We know that. Um, so if we, I think we've got to win one more game to to, to clinch it, or or Denver one loss. Yeah. So um, our work isn't done yet, but that's um, that's the goal at this point. And um, you know, it, it it that stuff matters. We we're very confident we can win on the road too. But um, I've always felt like. Uh, you know, having uh, having that extra home game is a big deal. Does the ISM that week of practice lead up, you know, to start and chase? Yeah. Steph probably going to practice that week. I yeah. assume that week is lining up to be pretty huge for you guys, right? It'll be a big week. You know, um, we'll see how um, it all goes for Steph. But, um, you know, having a week or so, if he's able to get on the floor and we can put together three or four really good practices as we prepare, um, It'd be nice to be able to do that and play two home games.